my name is Mackenzie and today I'll be taking you through a cardio and core interval workout. So it's going to be nice and short today, 20 minutes max, and we're just going to start with a little Tabata warm. You won't need any equipment for today. Um, if you want a mat just to make it a little bit more comfortable for you when we're doing some of the core movements, go ahead, grab a mat, towel, anything just to kind of cushion yourself. But other than that, we're, don't, we don't need anything and we're going to go ahead and start with a little Tabata warm up. So that means we're doing 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest eight times and because we have two movements for our warm-up that means we're doing each movement four times so our first movement is going to be jumping jacks so just jumping the feet out bringing the hands overhead and back down um, an option for this would be to just step out one leg at a time but still moving the arms and then our second movement is going to be a plank. We want to really warm up the core here. So we're going to come down. We want our hands underneath our shoulders, body in a nice straight line. And we're just going to hold here. Option, you can also go down to the forearms. And in this case, you want the elbows underneath the shoulders. And in any of these, either on the hands or on the forearms, you can always go down to your knees as well instead of being on the feet. So that is our warm up today. Jumping jacks and plank, four rounds of each for 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. So let's go ahead and get going. We're gonna start in five seconds. Three, two, one, and jumping jacks. One thing we wanna keep in mind here is we wanna try to land nice and softly on the balls of our feet. We don't want to be slamming down. And three, two, one, rest. 10 second rest, then we're gonna go down to our plank. And three, two, one. Over halfway. Just remember we're trying to keep the shoulders away from the ears here. And rest. Coming back up for our second round of four. Jumping jacks in three, two, one. Again, remember the option here is always to step one foot out and then the other, or to jump both feet out. And rest. Coming down for those planks again. In three, two, one. We really want to think here about tilting the pelvis under so we don't want our booties up here, we want to tilt the pelvis under, really try to activate the core. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Okay, coming back up. And in three, two, one. Coming back down for a plank in three, two, one. Ten seconds left. And three, two, one. Okay. Coming back up for our last round in three, two, one. So today we have, after this warm up, three more Tabatas that we're gonna go through. So it's gonna be nice and short today, but it's gonna be intense. So how it works, we have our three Tabatas 
And in between each Shabbat, we'll have a minute rest while we'll go over rest, go over the movements for our next Tabata. And I'll explain this again after the warm up really quick. And last plank. It's really important that you're breathing during this plank, that we're not just holding our air in. And three, two, one. Okay, we have a 60 second rest where I'll go over kind of what we're doing today and we'll get right into it. So as I was saying, we have three Tabatas for today. For our first one, our two movements are going to be plank jacks and superman. So what that looks like, we're in the plank position and we're just hopping the feet out and in as fast as you can. Modification for this would be just stepping the foot out and back in or you can just hold this plank position or down to the knees and then for superman we're gonna be on our stomachs and we're gonna try to lift our arms and legs as high off the ground as we can and hold so just like the warm-up this is gonna be to bottom format so that means eight rounds 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest and because it's two movements, that means we're doing each movement four times. Then we'll take a minute rest. We'll go through our second Tabata. I'll explain the movements during the rest. And then after that, one minute rest into our third Tabata. So we're starting this one in five seconds. So it's plank jacks and Superman. So down in three, two, one. Plank jacks, just hopping the feet out and in. that we can maintain for the entire 20 seconds. Three, two, one. And then coming down onto our stomachs. And three, two, one. Up for the Superman. Modification for these, you can always bring the arms in. It's gonna make it a little bit easier. I want to challenge you to try to push yourself through these. And three, two, one. Coming back onto the hands for those plank jacks. So use that first round as kind of a gauge. Say we have three more rounds. Can I maintain that pace? And go. Can I maintain that pace? Do I need to pick it up a little bit? Do I maybe need to slow down? Over halfway. Three, two, one. Coming back down for the Superman. In three, two, one. It's really important that we're breathing during this. This is our active recovery though. So even though we're doing work, we're still trying to get our breath back for our cardio movement. And rest. Okay, halfway through. And three, two, one. shake out the arms. You should be kind of feeling this in your shoulders a little bit. We're putting a lot of pressure there, so feel free to shake out the arms and then come down and up. Over halfway. And three, two, one. Rest. Last round. See if you can push yourself and make this your fastest round yet. In three, two, one. Really 
try to work a little bit harder than you want to right now. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Down to our last Superman. Then we'll take a 60 second rest and we'll go over our next movements. And up. Really focus on using the glutes to bring the legs up rather than the lower back. Over halfway. And three, two, one. Okay, 60 second rest. Grab some water. I'll go through our next movements. So here we have burpees and side crunches. So for the burpees, like I always say, I don't care how pretty it looks, you just need to get on the ground and get back up again. So first option is to jump the feet out, come down, jump up, little hop at the top. Next you can step down, step up, and you don't have to do a push up at the bottom. You can literally just fall down, have your chest touch the ground. Um, if getting the chest all the way to the ground is just not the option today, then you can always step back into a plank, hold for a second, then come back up and either add the hop at the top or a little calf raise. And then for our side crunches, we are going to be at about a 45 degree angle. First option is you're bringing both legs up to meet your elbow, using this arm on the ground. Um, for support, bringing both legs up, trying to touch focus on squeezing the obliques here and coming down. Um, second option is you can just bring one leg up. Just working on trying to squeeze the obliques, just trying to get the elbow as close to the knee as you can. So for the side place, we'll do one side for one round and then switch for the other. And we're gonna go, sorry with those burpees in. Three, two, one. And three, two, one. Rest, so 10 second rest here. Coming down for those side planks. to those burpees in three, two, one. Same side, twice in a row. 
feel free to switch. Just make sure that you're doing each side for two rounds. Five seconds left. And rest. Okay. Bringing it up for our last round of burpees. And go. Over halfway. See if you can pick it up a little bit. Three, two, one. Okay, and our last round of side crunches. In three, two, one. So we're going to be in the plank position, driving the knees to the chest, and you can also step the knees up. Um, modification will just be holding a plank or just stepping the knees up as high as you can. Our second movement, we're going to flip it over to our back for some crunches. So we're going to have feet about hip distance apart, laying on the ground, and just trying to activate the core to bring our shoulder blades off the ground. So just thinking more of coming up rather than forward. We want to come up just enough to get our shoulder blades off the ground. Next movement, we're coming up for, or we're going back to the plank position for some jump ups. So what that looks like in the plank, trying to jump the feet up so our foot is flat footed and back down, up, down. Modification would just be Stepping the feet up and stepping the feet down in that plank position. And then on our last move, we're going to flip it over and do some painful penguins. So what that is, we're going to have our feet, again, about hip distance apart, just out of reach of our arms. We're going to engage the core, bring the shoulder blades off the ground, really pushing that belly button into the ground and we're going to use our obliques to touch one foot and then the other just going side to side so again we have four movements the first one is mountain climbers then we go into crunches then jump ups then hollow dolly so we're doing each one just twice so starting with mountain climbers in five seconds three Two, one. It's really important in the mountain climbers that we're keeping a nice flat back. If you feel like your hips are coming up, try to bring them back down. Try to stay nice and low. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Okay, 10 second rest. Then we're flipping it over for crunches. In three, Two, one. So you can either have your hands here, or some people like them just to slide on the ground. It's up to you. And three, two, one. Coming back, flipping it over for those jump ups in five seconds. Three. Two, one. And go at your own pace here. Whatever is going to give you the best workout for you today. Maybe that's a little bit faster. Maybe that's a little bit slower. It's up to you. Three, two, one. And flipping it over for those painful penguins. In three, Two, one. So this whole time. 
time. We're just keeping the core engaged. Try to lift those shoulder blades off slightly. Over halfway. Three, two, one. Okay, we only have one round left. That means less than two minutes of work and then we're done for today. And mountain climbers, go. Just keep in mind this is the last time we have to do mountain climbers. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Flipping over for those crunches. In three, two, one. Over halfway. Three, two, one. Rest. Flipping over for these jump ups. This is our last cardio movement for today. And go. week. <laughs> 